everybody. Uh, it's going to be time for my morning dinner. So dinner time for me is in the morning. But before I get to that, I want you to join me while I uh, prepare a special treat for my ladies. I'll explain it all in a few. First thing I have to do is fill the bird feeders. Yeah, it's only 18 degrees out, even though it's close to spring. And of course, I got to get the suet filled because the damn woodpeckers, if you don't feed them, they're going to be sitting there going burp on the side of the house and keeping me awake. But I fill these for my ladies. This is Ladybug. She's my big girl. She loves to watch the birds. And this is Storm. Storm is my queen. She sleeps with me when I'm going to bed. This is Willow. They were going to put her down because she was a rescue and she was in bad shape. And this is Baby Boy, my only son. Well, now that you've met the ladies and my little boy, um, let's get to cooking. So today it's going to be something pretty exciting for me. I haven't had it in a while. And that's going to be a steak and cheese wrap. So I've got some lean Angus uh, roast beef and I'm going to put that in a skillet along with some onion and I'm going to add some uh, fried peppers and some smoked provolone cheese. As far as the side goes, well, you won't see that because that's classified. But um, for the most part, it's going to be a tasty meal and uh, let's get to it. We're going to do it step by step so anyone can get it done. As always, we're going to weigh everything out. So I'm going to put a paper towel down here and zero out the scale. And once that's zeroed out, we're going to get the lean Angus roast beef from the deli. And I'm going to weigh that out. And that's a total of about five and seven, eight ounces. And I'm going to get some sweet onion. And I'm just going to cut some of that up into strips. And you can use as much or as little as you like. And I've got roasted jarred uh, red peppers and uh, I want to use these up so I'm just going to kind of cut them up a little bit on the board. Now in a hot skillet I am going to shred the roast beef and I'm just going to kind of throw it in the pan here and it just kind of just maul it and, and rip it apart. Uh, you're just breaking it into pieces. I'm going to add some black pepper and uh, you can add whatever spices you like. Here's some granulated garlic you don't need to add it, but I like it. Um, and I'm also going to throw in some Worcestershire sauce. So I'm going to get all that in there. And then I'm just going to let it cook for a while. I'm going to stir it up. I'm going to flip it. Um, I'm going to reduce the heat just a little bit once it starts uh, browning up a little bit. And I'm going to throw in that onion. And i got to grab the red pepper here. And... Uh, and toss that in there as well. And I'm just going to let all this cook together. Ah, beautiful. It smells great. Chopping it up and flipping it. and Just getting it all nicely heated and just get the onions softened up just a little bit. But this just smells so amazing. I mean, it's so, so good. Uh, and I, I just imagine this is going to be really, really, really tasty. I used to do this... Uh, quite a bit. So uh, I've got these wraps here and there's 11 grams of dietary fiber, 50 calories, four net carbs. This is per stripe and we got about zero trans fat, no sugar and no hydrogenated oil and zero trans fat. So I'm going to take one of these wraps and I got these at Big Y and I'm just going to again put it on a scale and I'm going to put between five and six ounces of uh, this meat mixture with the onions and peppers onto the center of this wrap. And right now we've got about five and an eighth, five and three eighths, and we're going to add a little bit more at six. And it's going to drop down to about five and five eighths. I'm going to add a little bit of um, smoked. Uh, 
provolone cheese. So just going to wrap this up a little bit into a uh, steak and cheese wrap. And then I'm going to drop it in the air fryer. I've lined the air fryer fryer with um, some aluminum foil, uh, nonstick aluminum foil. And I'm just going to drop this into the air fryer just to heat it up a little bit. I'm going to go 375 for three minutes. And we're just about there. Three, two, one, bang. So it's nicely heated. It's a little bit firm on the outside. And I'm just going to take it and bring it over to the cutting board. And inside we have got, it's, oh, it's hot. So we have got some stringy cheese coming out. And look at that. Wow. That looks absolutely fantastic. And it's all healthy ingredients. So I'm going to throw some sides down here. And, uh, oops, uh, sorry about that. I <laughs> so we've got about five or six ounces of uh, steak and cheese here. And we're going to give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. Wow. The lean roast beef, sweet onion, fried pepper, a bit of Worcestershire, some salt and pepper, and some garlic powder. Bev, you can leave the garlic out if you want. And uh, it's great. So it, it kind of brings me back to like in the summertime or in the fall when they have those Italian fairs and you can get the steak and peppers uh, grinder at the, uh, at the booths at the fair. Mm. And I have enough meat, meat mixture left over for a second one. I need to leave it for dinner. I'm going to wrap one, bring it to work. But, wow, so good. So, we've got low carb wraps, steak and cheese with onion and peppers, and that makes for a light, healthy, delicious um, dinner for breakfast. Mm. Give it a try. And let me know what you think. Have a good day.